What's going on everybody? Russell here, AKA Medic Magic. Uh, it's been a minute since I've uploaded something. It's been almost a week. Um, anyways, don't mind my suit. I actually just got back from a very important business meeting about some things with the channel and possibly some modifications, some parts, some stuff we're gonna try and produce. So wait till the end of the uh, video here to hear more about that. But in the meantime, today's video is going to be about my top five modifications to do to, do to your car first. So make sure you watch till the end of the video, some exciting stuff coming up, and uh, I think I might try and get out of this suit. So, all right, let's get to it. All right, everybody, so the suit is off, the GTI is in, and the Impreza is out. Just because I thought since I'm gonna be talking kind of about this car and the things I've done to it that I should probably pull it in and give you guys a little bit of a shot of it. So, the top five car mods I think you should do first. Number five, now you guys are gonna discredit me so much for what, for what I'm about to just say. Uh, so much that I, I bet that there's gonna be at least one or two of you that click off after I say this, is stickers. It might sound stupid, it might sound a little bit bizarre, but let me tell you why. Stickers are cheap, they're personalized, and they're gonna make your car your own. Now that might be a little bit childish, a little bit ricey, whatever you wanna call it, but I personally think throwing one or two stickers on your car initially is something that makes a very big difference. It, it just makes it your own, and it's quick, it's cheap, it's simple. So number one, number five, five, four, three, two, one, stickers. Number four, some type of muffler or exhaust modification. Why? It all just goes back to making your car your own. Uh, there's something about having the cracks and the popples and uh, just the different sound of your car and how much more exciting it is going through the gears, whether it's a manual or automatic. I know some of you guys are hating on me because I said I don't like automatics, but I have yet to drive a DSG. If you have a DSG and you want me to review it and compare it to my car, let me know. Let me jump off that soapbox there. But yeah, so month or month. I think, I think it just makes sense. Um, uh, so number three would be suspension mods. Suspension mods would be a good step in the right direction. Number one, it's gonna give your car a good look. Whether you go with springs, whether you go with coils, or you go all up, all the way up to uh, bags, or you go for the static look. The benefits of that lowering is you're lowering the center, center of gravity. Um, your body's gonna have less body roll going around turns, which you can definitely tell when there's left less body roll. That was number three, suspension mods. Looks and uh, drivability is going to be improved. Number three, I think your best bang for your buck and easiest mod is getting a tune. Um, I have this thing, stage one tune, which a lot of people like giving me crap about the uh, what I have, the horsepower rate of that, which I might be wrong, uh, but we're gonna have it done. I keep saying that, hopefully really soon. If you get done what I got done, you basically take it to a, uh, a dealership or a shop, they tune it for you, they reflash it, and with this car specifically, it was basically like having a brand new car. It's completely different, the fun goes up. Um, your gas mileage probably might go a little bit down, not too, too bad, not too bad. Yeah, and it's, it's easy. It doesn't take 10 hours wrenching in a garage. Um, and number one, the first thing that I think you should do is get a shift knob. I mean, it doesn't have to be anything special. Go to AutoZone, go to Pet Boys, get something cheap and simple, but it just gives your car a different feel, uh, and it's something that you engage with every single time you're driving a car. Uh, you always have your hand on it. I mean, you're always doing something with your shift knob. Um, so that's pretty much why I think uh, that's a good idea. But it could definitely, it could, it could give your car a completely different feel. Like the one I have on mine is uh, weighted. So it makes the throws feel a little bit easier. Not shorter, I wouldn't say, but definitely easier. Um, but yeah, so that's my, my top five list. It kind of goes around my car and the things I've done to it because Personally, I mean, this is just my opinion and what I think you should get done to your car first. So, and that's what I've done with my car. Other than that, JS Mark 7 has called me out to make a video of what is underneath my seat in the, uh, the compartment under there. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick view of what I daily carry under my seat. I, I just really need to get, this tie is killing me. Ah, oh, that's better. I'm gonna have to bring you guys over here so you can see. Let me see if I can show you guys what's in here. So you might not be as enthused or surprised. It's pretty normal stuff what I have in here. The uh, compartment's pretty small, so there's not really much I could put in there. JS Mark 7 was pulling a laptop out of his. I, I don't, 
I don't know if that fit. That might have been some trickery with the old uh, the old software. So let me uh, let me see if I can show you guys what's in here. I actually have a bunch of free um, sheets coupons uh, that I get courtesy of my mom. These were like a fundraiser type deal thing that she gets. Um, so I also have all these free entree things. A lighter, just in case you need to uh, start a fire if I do a barrel roll off the side of a cliff and need to make camp. Uh, there's that. Oh, Medic Magic Essentials. Spare pair of sunglasses. Now, everybody likes to give me crap and say that I wear cheap sunglasses. Uh, I have a pair, these are, look, all you haters, these are Ray-Bans. I just don't wear them that much. You know why? Because I lost my black ones and I'm wearing these backup red ones. These are Pizza Joe's. Pizza Joe's sunglasses and I have my Ray-Bans as backups in my freaking car. Flashlight, uh, just in case I do barrel roll off the side of a cliff, I have a flashlight in case my lighter doesn't work. Uh, Rubik's Cube, just in case I get bored of my phone dies once I roll off a cliff. Um, there's that, keep me entertained. Um, oh, also, pre-workout. I always travel with pre-workout because I hate getting in the gym, realizing I didn't take pre-workout, and then terrible workout. So there's that, pre-workout. Just a little snack, post-workout carbohydrates. Always need post-workout carbohydrates. So there's that. Oh, here we go, one of my favorite things. Um, a billy club. So if any animal is trying to attack me and whenever I'm trying to set up my camp after I crash my car over a cliff, you know what's coming. So next I have a backup gorilla pod. Um, just in case I need to document or make any videos or vlogs. I do have my uh, computer over here. That doesn't fit down there. JS Mark 7, computers do not fit in these things. I don't know who you're trying to kid. They don't fit. That's about there. Wait, wait, there's one more thing. I need to uh, move this back here so I can actually get it out. All right, there you go. Here, there you have it. Uh, the last thing I have in my car, um, just in case I'm out and I need to sweep the car out, get it presentable for any pop-up shows or anything like that of that nature. So on that note, um, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for sticking around and uh, being a spectacle to my nonsense. Anyways, I'd like to call out a couple people here to see what is under their uh, Mark 7 seat. So let's go with Teddy Westside 412, calling you out, make a video. Um, I don't know if I'm saying this right, if, they, if he calls it VAG or VAG Tech. VAG, uh, VAG Tech. I'm sorry if I've just butchered your name. But anyways, uh, make a video. Let's see what's in your uh, underneath your car seat. And Sleepy Dub VRT, calling you out also. Um, so make a video. Make sure you guys let us know. Let me know somehow. Uh, tag me, something, do something. I'm really giving thought to doing a Shopify account and selling like the muffler delete that we made or the shift knobs. Um, we're gonna be trying to make another cool uh, piece for the front of the car, like a license plate type delete, one of those little bar license plate things that says uh, something pretty cool. Um, and basically anything else that we make that you guys see, I mean, if you guys want a uh, an engine swap too, we could probably work something out. Let me know what you guys think. Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. Make sure you subscribe for more content to come, and I will catch you guys later. All right, peace.